last few years the academic exhibition has become an imperative part of our school curriculum as well as a tradition it involves integrating the students knowledge and skills to real life situations and gaining valuable experience from that this year despite the pandemic my students and teachers were unwavering in their decision to continue this learning experience this involved collecting all the parts of the project remotely this arduous process involved deciding on the content preparing the parts collecting them and editing them to make a final presentation and i am proud to say that my students teachers in charges and my it team have done a wonderful job congratulations this year we named our academic exhibition incredible india as you know india is a land of diverse cultures religions and traditions as a part of this project the students have researched facts about the diverse states of india and integrated it with the subject knowledge they have gained in their class the final presentation will give you a virtual tour of the diverse states of india and i'm sure this beautiful journey of incredible india will mesmerize our audience happy viewing of Andhra Pradesh and a peach me of natural beauty the mere mention of its name conjures up the vidimages of pristine waters sapphire blue skies enticing environment and brilliant beaches a state with a glorious synthesis of colorful culture varied wildlife rich history and awesome architecture that makes it a destination of ceaseless surprises but the story ends Here yeah, for many of us, apart from this alluring activity, lots more to this sublime state than meets the eye. So, in the interest of getting to know the state just a little bit better, here are some unknown amazing facts about Andhra Pradesh to offer you a glimpse of its intriguing local history and culture that won't fail to excite and enchant you. Fact number one. the longest coastline in south india do you know that the coastline of andhra pradesh is the second longest in india with a coastline of about 974 km andhra pradesh overtakes other south indian states such as kerala and tamil nadu to become the state with the longest sea shore hence it wouldn't be wrong to call it the land of most beaches So, don't you think you should add Andhra Pradesh as your beach destination in your next getaway? Fact number two: World's largest banyan tree. Yes, you heard it right. Located in the Anantapura district of Andhra Pradesh, the Mama Mari Manu is believed to be the largest banyan tree in the world and was recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records in the year 1989. Its branches spread over five acres with a canopy of 19107 square meters wouldn't you love to get yourself to this incredible tourist spot fact number 3 a pillar that stands suspended in the air ever seen a hanging pillar if not then you must plan a trip to lepakshi in the ananpur district of andhra pradesh the lepakshi temple has 70 pillars in all and one amongst them has been defined by some as a medieval architectural wonder the pillar hangs without any support Visitors usually test the pillar by passing objects under it. No one has ever seen able to determine the way this was done. Fact number four: Cassius nature of Chromos Bay was discovered here. Yes, it is ten percent true. While observing a solar eclipse in the year eighteen sixty-eight, Joel Stanson, a French astronomer, discovered helium after he noticed certain bright lines. showcasing a gaseous nature in the chromosphere which is second layer in the atmosphere of the sun and the place where he made this observation 
was in Gundul in Andhra Pradesh. Fact number 5. Kashmir of Andhra Pradesh. When we think of snowfall, we promptly think about Gulmarg, Nainital and Manali. But South India is always dry and humid. With quaint valleys and chilling temperatures, Lamba Singhi is the only place in the southern region that sees snowfall. Perched at an altitude of 1000 meters above sea level, this misty hill station in Vishakhapatnam's Chintapali town is fondly known as the Kashmir of Andhra Pradesh. Another name of Lamba Singhi snow is Karabayalu, which in translation means if someone stays out in the open at night, by morning they will freeze like a steak. Wow, Andhra Pradesh is surely laced with a number of interesting facts. No wonder why this region attracts a huge number of tourists. From ancient caves to historical temples, this beautiful state should definitely be experienced once in a lifetime for its rich heritage and alluring frontage. Let's know a little more about Andhra Pradesh, a state in the southeastern coastal region of India also known as the land of Kohinoor and rice bowl of India. It was formed on 1 November 1956 and its coordinates are 15.91 degree north, 79.74 degree east. It covers a total area of 1,62,975 km square or 62,925 square meter. The state is divided into 13 districts out of which Anandpur is the largest district with 19,130 square kilometer, Chathar being the second largest with 15,152 square kilometer. Srikakulam is the smallest district area in Andhra Pradesh with 5,837 square kilometer. It is 2,210 kilometers away from Punjab via National Highway 44 and 2,385 kilometers away from Amritsar. It takes approximately 38 hours to reach there. The population of the Andhra Pradesh, it is the 10th most populous state with 4 crore 93 lakh 86,700 inhabitants with density of 308 per, 8 per kilometer square. Let's have a look on religious distribution of the Andhra Pradesh. The majority of the people in Andhra Pradesh are Hindus, while Muslim constitute a sizable minority. According to the latest census, the major religious groups in the states are Hindu 90.87%, Muslim 7.32%, Christian 1.38% and others 0.43%. Coming on the languages spoken in Andhra Pradesh. Telugu is the popular and widely spoken language in Andhra Pradesh with 98% of population speak Tamil with different regional dialects and yasas. The top 5 different regional Telugu dialects are Konasima Yasa, Ralayasima Yasa, Shrikakulam Yasa, Nirula Yasa. Other than Telugu language, 6.54% people speak Urdu and 1.16% people speak Tamil. Telugu is the fourth most spoken language in India after Hindi, Bengali and Marathi and 11th most spoken language in the world. Andhra Pradesh hosted 121.8 visitors in year 2015, a 30% growth in tourist arrivals over the previous year making it the third most visited state in India. The Trimulangakeshwara Temple in Triputi is one of the world's most visited religious site with 18.25 million visitors per year. As per government website and the latest census, literacy rate age plus 7 is 67%. Literacy rate of 15 to 24 years old is 74.1%. Children aged 11 to 14 years attending school is 71.4 percent gender gap in literacy rate male and female is 15.8 percent working participation rate is 46.6 percent 
children workers population 5 to 14 years is 790261 households holding below poverty line ration cards is 82.2 wildlife of andhra pradesh fauna found in this sanctuary are tigers panthers gaur cheetah chosingha sambar blackbuck mouse deer barking deer sloth deer wild ox hyenas jackals wild boar marsh crocodiles and variety of birds koringa wildlife sanctuary is located in east godavari district in an year area of 235.70 km squares no matter how few possessions you own or how little money you have loving natural vegetation and wildlife will make you rich beyond measures if we can teach people about these they will be touched woods and fields lakes and rivers the mountains and the sea are excellent schoolmasters and these will never fail you so we need to look deep into the nature and then we will understand everything better so friends let's start from andhra pradesh's natural vegetation and wildlife andhra is considered one of the rich biodiversified states in india its total forest cover is 37258 km squares which is 22.28% of its total geographical area two swamps and palm trees fringe the coastal plains of andhra pradesh godavari mangroves are located in the godavari estuary of the east godavari district and the krishna mangrove lie across the krishna and guntu district of andhra pradesh 24 mangrove tree species and more than 120 bird species are found over there andhra pradesh stands first in the country in oil palm cultivation and production covering an area of 1.62 lakh hectare in andhra pradesh both moist deciduous and dry savanna vegetations are found teak rosewood wild fruit trees and bamboo are in plenty in andhra pradesh friends neem trees over there are used to produce an aromatic oil banyan mango and people are among common trees there are 13 wildlife sanctuaries one tiger reserve one elephant reserve and three national park in andhra pradesh my friends tigers black bucks hyenas indian leopard cheetah sloth bear are prominent animal species found in andhra pradesh there are also dozens of bird species including flamingo indian roller pendant stock rock dove and indian pond heron among critically endangered species are jordan's courser great indian bustard these species got a new lease of life as center government gave priority to these avian species in national wildlife action plan but these efforts are not sufficient It is the need of the art to put some extra efforts to protect these species from extinction and human kind must learn to understand that the life of an animal is no way less precious than our own. Now my friends will tell you about the historical places of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh jahan dekhne ko milta hai aastha tatha bhakti ka atoot vishwas jahan ke dharmik sthalon ke matra darshano se भक्तों में जगती है कष्टों से मुक्ति की आस पंजाब की भांति आंध्रा भी सुंदरता भव्यता तथा पवित्रता का प्रतीक कहलाता है धान का कटोरा और भारत के कोहिनूर आदि नामों से भी जाना जाता है 3906 छोटे बड़े धार्मिक स्थलों का यह पावन स्थान युगो युगों से देता है संपूर्ण मानव जाति को मोक्ष आंध्र प्रदेश जिसके एक तरफ कनका दुर्गा श्री श्री काल हस्ती मलिका अर्जुन तिरुमला तिरुपति बालाजी भीमेश्वर स्वामी आदि जैसे पावन मंदिर अपनी भव्यता मूर्ति कला तथा सुंदरता के लिए विश्व प्रसिद्ध हैं। वहीं दूसरी ओर विजयवाड़ा नेलोर चित्तूर कुरनूल गंडी कोटा कोंडा रेडी किला 
तथा अमरावती जैसे ऐतिहासिक तथा मनमोहक स्थल सेनानियों के आकर्षण का केंद्र रहे हैं तो चलिए इस प्रदेश के विषय में भी अपने ज्ञान को बढ़ाते हैं धार्मिक तथा ऐतिहासिक स्थलों की यात्रा की ओर अपना कदम बढ़ाते हैं तिरुमाला वेंकटेश्वर स्वामी मंदिर दान धर्म के संदर्भ में भारत का सबसे अमीर मंदिर कहलाता प्रतिदिन पचास हजार से एक लाख भक्त का टोला इसके दर्शनों के लिए आता तिरुपति बालाजी का मंदिर पंजाब के स्वर्ण मंदिर की भांति विश्व प्रसिद्ध है माना जाता है कि यह मंदिर भगवान विष्णु का निवास स्थान है श्रद्धालु भगवान के दर्शन से पहले अपने केश दान करते हैं इस परंपरा को मुंह को कहा जाता है प्रत्येक वर्ष यहाँ ब्रह्म महोत्सव का आयोजन किया जाता है जिसमें पांच लाख से भी अधिक भक्त हिस्सा लेते हैं आल हस्ती मंदिर जहाँ भगवान शिव वायु रूप में पूजे जाते जागृत मंदिर के नाम से प्रसिद्ध इस मंदिर में भोले के दर्शनों को भक्त दौड़े चले आते चोला वंश द्वारा निर्मित इस प्राचीन मंदिर में शिव की पूजा कालहस्तेश्वर के रूप में की जाती है चलिए अपनी यात्रा को आगे बढ़ाए आंध्र के भोजन के विषय में अपने ज्ञान को बढ़ाए हेलो फ्रेंड्स हैव यू ऑल प्रिपेयर फॉर द क्लास असाइनमेंट गिवन बाय आवर साइंस टीचर ऑन कंपैरिजन ऑफ फूड हैबिट बिटवीन पंजाब एंड आंध्र प्रदेश सो लेट्स डिस्कस द सेम लेट मी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट द डिश फ्रॉम लैंड ऑफ गुरुज दैट इज पंजाब द डिश व्हिच आई हैव चूजन इज सरसों का साग एंड मक्की की रोटी एज यू ऑल नो दैट सरसों का साग इज मेड फ्रॉम स्पिनच मस्टर्ड लीव्स and certain kind of special herbs like chinopodium and fenugreek leaves it is packed with 1.9 g of protein 4.3 g of carbohydrates 2.2 g of fiber and 4.4 g of fat it is rich in top class antioxidants and essential micronutrients like iron it is a nutritional powerhouse which consists of vitamin k vitamin b6 vitamin c and many other nutrients makki ki roti is made of corn meal flour which is rich in vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin k it is served along with clarified butter to make it more delicious no doubt the dish which you have represented looks very delicious and appears to be the powerhouse of nutrients but let me tell you my friend it also consists of some hidden drawbacks it is loaded with extra butter which is direct source of fat and calories which influence heart health problem and also increases the chance of obesity so which dish you are going to represent today i am going to represent andhra chicken biryani that is famous dish of andhra pradesh this dish is particularly cooked with yogurt tomato biryani masala and marinated chicken This dish contain hidden benefits because of yogurt which is used by everyone in their kitchen goes. Yogurt is a rich source of probiotic which improves our immunity as it promotes good bacteria in our gut. The chicken used in this dish is a rich source of protein. So, all and all, I have observed and compare both of your dishes. It both appear to be extremely delicious. But dish of Andhra Pradesh also contain some of the health drawbacks just like that of Punjab as the chicken use leads to food intolerance in certain people and also increases risk of cancer the cholesterol level in skin of chicken is very high as we have understood that every dish have its pros and cons and it is up to as to balance the same and as we have discussed the loving dishes how about understanding something about culture of these states navyan ucheriyan pulanga de pandiyo tak andhra de nazare ho gaye ho sharsar vilakhan virasat di bukkal vich samoyi baitha hindustan de dakhni purbi da baneya andhra sikhdar की सिखिया ते की जानिया अखी डिठे नजारिया नु साझे कर आओ 
ज्ञान उदय नवा हुलार ए गल गोरे तलब है मैडम स्कूल दा ए उदम त निराला सी विरसे विरासत नु जोड़न वाले ए स्टूर ने ख्याला नु बख्शया नवा उजाला सी सुन के बोल अजब है तोहाडे मेरे वलवलिया भी मारी उडारी है मन लोचे बाता पौण नु आंदरा दी विरासत दिया जिसकी दक्षिणी पूर्वी विच सरदारी है मेरे सतिकारत अध्यापिका जी गल करिए जेकर हत्थां दे कीर्ति लोकां दी पत्थरां दे बुत्तां नु बोलन ला दंदे कर नकाशी ओहना विच जान तक भी पा दंदे खाद व्यंजन अटटू डोसा पाइसम ने लिज्जत दा राधा ते राजा रेड्डी वर्गे ने इथों दे नचार जो कला दे मुजस्मे अते सभ्यता दा खूब करण पसार कला कीर्तियां दी सुमेलता है त काबिल तारीफ सो गुरनूर तू भी त दिल दे भेद खोल ते हो जा विच शरीक ओ नहीं जी मैं ता पहला ही बैठी हां पब्बा पार कुदरत ने बख्शे आंदरा नु अटुट पंडारे राइस बॉल ऑफ इंडिया ਐਵੇਂ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਦਗੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਦੀ ਮੂਰਤ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਨੇ ਭੋਲੇ ਪਾਲੇ ਸਾਦ ਮੁਰਾਦੀਆਂ ਜੀਨ ਜੁਗਤਾ ਵੇਖ ਲੋਕ ਹੋ ਜਾਵਨ ਮਤ ਵਾਲੇ ਨੌਜਵਾਨੀ ਉੱਚੇ ਖਿਆਲੀ ਲਾਉਣੀ ਚਾਹਵੇ ਅੰਬਰੀ ਉਡਾਰੀ ਅਣਥਕ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਤੇ ਡਾਢੀ ਮੁਸ਼ੱਕਤ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਦੇ ਖੇਤਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਮੱਲਾ ਮਾਰੀ आओ नपिए आंद्रा वाल्या दिया पैड़ा ते अज्ञानता दिया अगलियां पिछलियां काड दईए सब कैड़ा अमीर वैसे दी हुंदे जो जिंद जान तिथ तिहार संस्कृति दी करौंदे ने हो पहचान तेलुगु उर्दू मिठियां बोल बाणियां सिल्की साड़ी अते कहनिया ना सोहंदियां सुवाणियां तोती पंचे कूता सोहे ओपरा चमतानी पोचन पल्ली क्या खूब मोहे कौमा करण जो संभाल अपने विरसे दी उस दीवी काले जीउंदियां ने सिर मान नाल ऊंचा हो जांदा जो पीढ़ियां रिवायतें निभाउंदियां ने कर कर दी सफाई संक्रांति ते रंगोली जांदी है बनाई कनुमा ते बैल दी पूजा करके मकर संक्रांति है हुल्लास नाल जांदी मनाई वाह दिल मोह लिया इस परदेश दीया बाता ने इस नु कादर ने बख्शियां अमीर जो दाता ने अनेकता विच एकता हिंदुस्तान दी अदूति मिसाल ताइयो ता जगत कहे इस नु बा कमाल बा कमाल बा कमाल डियर ऑडियंस आई होप यू फाउंड दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव सो बिफोर वी कंक्लूड इट I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to acknowledge the contribution of those who work behind the scene to execute this event. Our respected director sir Mr. Vinit Agarwal for his constant support and motivation, our venerable principal ma'am Mrs. Shweta Agarwal for being the catalyst that inspired us to give our best and stood by us as a pillar of strength. Our facilitator Mr. Balraj Singh for his untiring support and able guidance. we are fortunate to be supported by a team of very active efficient and dedicated teachers who are well versed in their jobs and are result oriented with a deep sense of appreciation i sincerely thank all the faculty members and the last but not the least our rock stars our dear students for their participation and all the parents for the rock solid support system and encouragement thank you very much everyone